Alrighty. Cheers. Let's get into the beer. Extra careful how we get the um, how we get the uh, water cooler out of here since it's up against the uh, wall here. And uh, let's see if we can be super careful how we take this out because the radiator is. Cool, dusty is all get out. Um, so you can see, let me see if you can see, see the radiator here. Uh, it's pretty dirty, everything's pretty dirty. Um, but, uh, but this is what a 10 year old machine looks like inside. <laughs> um, so, we'll, uh, I'm gonna have to try and see if I can get uh, some of. Uh, uh, get the uh, pump um, or get the motherboard either move down a little bit or put the pump up here on the top or not the pump the radiator and see if I can put that up here on the top so it'll run down um, but yeah this is this is the inside of the beast here and uh, we'll uh, we'll be getting everything kind of taken out the graphics card is extremely hard to take out uh, because it's actually under this bar, so it's it's down in here under the bar. But since the new motherboard and build and everything is not going to have any hard drives in the front, I think it should be uh, easy enough to actually uh, get it situated under here again. But uh, we'll have to, again, get it all cleaned up and everything, but that'll be kind of towards the end. I'm not really going to show you guys a whole lot of cleaning going on. But uh, these fans, uh, these fans here on the cases and everything. These are 10 year old fans and they're still running, no bearing problems. Uh, so I'm still really, really, really happy with those. So we'll start getting everything unplugged and we'll start getting the new, uh, the, uh, the new hardware in here. So then we can uh, start getting things moving. So see ya. All right, guys, uh, we got the graphics card out and it is dirty, 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 dirty. And it's uh, it's kind of hard to fit in there, but it fits. Um, and I uh, started getting all the uh, connections off of the USB 3 buses and the um, the 1394 audio and everything down here on the on the header panel. And uh, then we'll be working on the um, uh, pump here in a little bit once we get everything kind of disconnected. But uh, there's no going back now. So I got all my data transferred and everything is uh, ready to go so we can start unhooking hard drives. And you can see down in here, uh, let me see if I can uh, get it in there. Uh, I'm going to be upside down here for a second. Uh, you can see that this uh, drive support broke because uh, it was in here for so long. And uh, yeah, so we're, uh, we're getting everything uh, hopefully, uh, what's going on here? getting everything uh, worked out so that way we can uh, actually get this thing working again and uh, it'll be really really nice to not have any drives but actually just have one drive that'll be like right here uh, for the MVME and uh, uh, we're starting to get the pump out and we'll see if we get all the hard drives disconnected here and uh, since this is a RAID setup uh, once I disconnect all this it's uh, completely gone unless I actually uh, replace the entire setup back to this original configuration and mark all those drives. So uh, we're we're literally done with the i7-2600K and the uh, the motherboard here. So oh, it's kind of a bittersweet feeling that uh, this thing has been running non-stop basically for 10 years, overclocked and uh, in a pretty hard way, and uh, it just hasn't uh, hasn't gone out on me yet. And I think it would still continue to run if I had some uh, had some software improvements and stuff, uh, and uh, some serious time to troubleshoot through this. But since I don't, um, then uh, this is what it's going to be. So, all right, guys, uh, the motherboard's out. Uh, stripped a screw or two, and uh, 
hard drives are coming out and they are filthy. Um, so we're gonna be we're gonna be having to uh, work on these a little bit to clean them up because it might be nice to have one or something, uh, one or so uh, <laughs> actual drives in here. But let me see if you can if I can turn this so you can see the filth in here. Um, yeah, so it's it's really dirty. You can see this front panel uh, with the fans. Uh, we have quite a bit of actual like layers of dirt in there. So the case did its job. It actually caught um, through the through the outside here grill and then into the fan. This caught uh, all of the most of the dirt. The uh, motherboard is actually pretty clean, actually, for uh, what for what we have going on in here. So I'm going to have to do a lot of uh, a lot of vacuuming and a lot of uh, blow air and everything just to get this uh, squared away. So it's coming along, and uh, we're getting there. Okay, we got the uh, got the motherboard completely off. I'm going to leave the RAM in here because it matches. But I started noticing things like this. Where, um, where these components, these heat sinks and things were starting to come off their pads, uh, some other stuff like that throughout here. Uh, so th I think this motherboard is, is uh, good and uh, it uh, definitely did its job <laughs> over the past 10 years. So I gotta get my uh, processor out of here and uh, got the uh, cooler and pump and everything off. So let's see uh, what this looks like after 10 years of being here in this socket. Uh, if, any, if I can get it out without killing it. Okay, there we go. Whew. Probably, uh, probably just gonna leave it in here. There's the socket. Pristine shape. Hasn't moved in 10 years. The first time in 10 years that's actually come out. So I think we'll just, I think we'll just leave it alone uh, for the time being. I wish I'll probably uh, put this back together and uh, do something with it here at home, uh, maybe for the kids or something. But as of right now, I even got the back plate off and everything for the for the uh, for the liquid cooler here and stuff because the bracket goes on into the four holes here, and uh, that that does that uh, pretty nicely. As you see here, we still got some of the motherboard uh, pieces in here, so I got to get those off. Uh, back into the bracket down there, so uh, we'll have to see how that goes, but uh, still still working on it. Alright, finally got the case emptied. <laughs> the horribly dirty case is now empty. Uh, finally got the other uh, side off, and uh, my goodness, a lot of dirt. These Cooler Masters, though, uh, they've gone for 10 years straight with no ball bearing issues. Uh, absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, we're, we're finally getting the inside here cleared, getting all the wiring figured out what I'm actually going to need. And uh, then we can start uh, cleaning this out completely, get all the wiring uh, grouped up and everything, and then we'll be, uh, we'll be ready to go. Uh, there, you can see the tower where the drives were. And how dirty that is and everything so this will be completely empty for now which will be great or maybe I could somehow rig up the radiator over here to hang <laughs> from some twine or something I don't know uh, but that that could be a, a little bit of an adventure there but uh, otherwise it's uh, getting cleaned out getting cleared out and uh, everything's getting ready to actually start putting hardware back in here so we're getting close all right guys so the great cleaning is uh, going to going to start uh, beginning and uh, trying to get an idea here of just how much dirt is in here. <laughs> uh, so we'll we'll have to have a couple hours here to to be cleaning this. Thankfully, it's still pretty dry, so uh, we shouldn't have uh, too many issues. Waiting for waiting for this thing to dry uh, in <laughs> uh, in between uh, 
the different uh, the different drying cycles here and and between the cleaning. But uh, we'll give the uh, the bowl of water here a uh, a uh, good look at uh, when we're completely done with the full clean. I'm gonna take all these off. I'm gonna clean it completely out, and uh, I'm deciding on how many fans to put back in here currently. Uh, maybe only like three or four. I won't uh, be needing as many as I had previously because obviously we're not going to have as many fans in here uh, because I won't have as many drives and so on and so forth. So it'll uh, be a good a good re uh, reinvestigation into what we're doing. So we got uh, all of the stuff out of there as you saw, and uh, we'll be we'll be uh, working on the cleaning here, and, and we'll be using our shop towels. So. Well, uh, we'll keep on moving here. Hey guys, the water's getting dirtier, but you can see dirty fin, dirty fin, dirty fin, clean fin-ish, clean-ish fin, clean fin. It's almost uh, like a translucent color, and then here you get to the dirt, and uh, you can clearly see that it's a huge buildup. So you wipe in there, you get it out, and uh, you just keep going one fin, one blade at a time, and uh, you'll get it clean. So not bad, uh, definitely got a ways to go here, uh, but this is kind of kind of how it's progressing right now, and uh, we're, we're getting close to, uh, I don't think I'm going to put as many fans back in, you can see the, it's like white snow and, and uh, a nice crisp black there on the uh, clean fins. But uh, and the water's getting dirty as well. But uh, this this panel came out nice. Uh, it's fairly clean at the moment. Uh, there's still some dust in between the grill and uh, some of the some of the corners here and stuff. But it's clean enough that it will um, actually do fine. So so you can actually get it cleaned uh, fairly fairly nicely here. Um, and since we're not uh, since we're not putting anything under under load or under stress or in any kind of in any kind of uh, operating environment until this is all completely dry and uh, we'll we'll do a, uh, a once over after everything's uh, gotten the majority of everything uh, pulled apart here and cleaned off and stuff I mean you can see that like just every every corner every facet everything it would probably be easier just to buy new fans and stuff instead of doing all of this but uh, this is kind of where the fuck? Oh my goodness! Uh, it's like uh, it's just like dropping off of here. Okay. Well, uh, but this is sort of some of the fun of when you build a PC uh, or you retrofit an old one like this. Uh, this is where uh, you know a lot of the joy and a lot of the passion comes from is that you just like doing this. Uh, not that you know I want to go to everybody's house. And, and clean their house all the time. If I saw dirt like this loaded up, I'd be like, oh, what a pig. But, you know, I see it here on, on this stuff, and it just uh, brings a lot of joy to uh, retrofit something and kind of take it from a, a non-operational gross kind of state and kind of redeem it into a, a new operational functional phase of usefulness. So uh, there we go. Nice, nice clean fan blades. And uh, we'll be we'll be working on the wells here as well, around the uh, area, around the side walls here and stuff, trying to get it uh, fully fully cleaned up and ready to go. And see there, the sticker, the Cooler Master sticker is still intact, and it's still hologrammy, so very cool. I wonder if these will run for another 10 years. Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, I guess check in with me in 10 years and and find out uh, if these will run for 20 years. So it's kind of a an anecdotal test here for uh, Cooler Master, but running uh, running a full gaming rig under load with uh, you know all this draw for this long for 10 years, and like I said, they still don't have a bearing problem. So that's why I'm still interested in maybe maybe still using them. You can see there's still dust. That comes off of them, uh, even even at this phase of of uh, clean. Uh, Got to get the backs here a little bit. Uh, those are 
those are still needing some attention so I'll probably do like three fans or something and then uh, and then we'll call it good so uh, keep watching the water it'll get dirtier over time so here's the carnage so far um, <laughs> it's uh, slowly 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 that's that's the old motherboard box slowly coming together um, right now I'm playing with the idea of how to mount the uh, water cooler uh, how to mount the reservoir here on one of the doors uh, so we'll do that but still got a lot of dirt still got a lot of <laughs> you can see it settled there I've been cleaning for a while and uh, still have uh, a lot of dirt to go in order to get to the in order to get to the end the trash can and stuff so we'll be we'll be getting there um, so far just uh, gotta clean these up I had to take off the front panel here to figure out so we're down to literally bare bones all right guys welcome to back to the crazy and here we got the the 1080 all cleaned up and ready to go there's a little bit of residue left on there from the uh, shop wipes but uh, looking pretty good um, kids kids are not happy you know I've been here doing this all day and uh, we got uh, this side all cleaned off nice and clean got uh, the cables uh, picked out which ones I'm gonna need for the CPU and different things and this is the back uh, oh, finally got the got uh, at least two fans mostly cleaned off um, compared to what they were uh, just a little bit of screws here to hold ourselves in this dust here on the side won't matter for the next 10 years <laughs> and uh, the water uh, radiator's got to go up here again, like how I had it mounted sideways uh, before. I know uh, all the computer experts out there will criticize me and everything, but that's okay. And uh, the the water's getting uh, <laughs> dirtier and dirtier as time goes on here. But I'm gonna this time uh, not have uh, full fans down the side here. I'm just gonna have it go, uh, blowing this way, uh, blow it, blowing in from both sides, and then out the water radiator. Uh, so that way it'll be exhausting all the uh, air from the system. So it should be uh, should be pretty good overall as a uh, as a full flow in the system. So we got all the all the surfaces cleaned up everywhere. Uh, let's see um, what else have we been doing? Oh yeah, uh, the the uh, other side panel got this one all cleaned up nice nice and uh, good here. So we should be a okay to start getting things uh, put up and back up in here and then so we'll, we'll be getting the uh, motherboard and stuff oh this is my wireless card yes I run on wireless so those of you that are wondering why when you pair with me um, you know why don't I have good connection well because I'm on Wi-Fi so gotta get that McDonald's Wi-Fi so uh, we'll be uh, getting the motherboard going here in a second and the wiring uh, paired to go in through the side and then in uh, back that way so Alright guys, uh, new configuration here, we got the, uh, let me see, okay, get a better view here, there we go, got the uh, pegs, posts in here for the uh, AIO to uh, have on the bracket here, so that should be uh, ready to ready to accept the uh, pump and everything, got the M.2 in here, got the RAM on, and we're going to be putting the processor in here uh, pretty soon. And then we'll be sticking it down in here like that, like this, and then we'll have uh, we'll have our motherboard in. Okie dokie, boys! Motherboard is in, ready to mount the AIO and get the wiring going. All right, guys. Uh, so we're getting we're getting pretty far along here. We got the video card. In. Excuse me. We got the. Uh, LAN card in, we got the, all the connections down here for the motherboard switches and everything plugged in, all this in, and guess what, of course this is just like any other project that I ever do, Ugh. up in here, right next to the CPU plug there's a uh, jumper that allows for overclocking, uh, so I, uh, I gotta get that jumper off in there somehow, okay guys, I got the jumper, I got it off, Oh my gosh. And it's going right there on those two. Oh, I don't know if my gorilla fingers can actually get in here. Alright, let's see. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I can't tell if I got it or not. Oh, no, I didn't. But at 
least I still have it in my hand. Uh, here we go. I'm going for another... Oh no. Am I going to drop it? No. Okay. Come on. I gotta get this. Okay. Okay, there we go. Is that it? I hate this put on by feel. <gasps> I think I got it. One, and then the other two. Okay. Push it down. Oh, whew. Okay, now we're in business. We can actually overvolt now. So, oh, lucky me. Okay. So then I can run uh, the CPU line in over here. Always only run CPU lines to CPU lines. Don't switch it for <laughs> a... Uh, <laughs> Don't switch it. Don't switch this uh, 12 volt line for a uh, um, what do you call it? The graphics card <laughs> uh, connections. They make the the plastic so it doesn't actually uh, switch. But um, yeah, that's a mistake you can't make. I don't recommend it though. Okay, next thing is water pump, and uh, I think we're almost ready. Okay, dokie, guys. Um, I think. I think uh, this was the one I was most nervous about because probably going to get the most hate for it <laughs> is putting the uh, block on and uh, I can get the wires all out of the way here. Okay. All right. Now we're going to have to slide this down in and then um, find out where my where my fan headers are. For all of this, um, okay, and then I need power from somewhere. Oh no, all the power is in the back. Oh, shoot. Um. Okay. Well, here we go. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Um. Let's see. Well, maybe this isn't gonna go how I thought. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, there's a... All the pump pieces. Okay, these go in here. These two. Okay. Um, okay. Alright, so the fan... So the two fans uh, go into these guys. So there's one. And then, oh, there goes the, the the water block. See there, it's hanging. Um, there we go. And then this one goes into uh, this connection. And my back is really starting to hurt. This has been all day. Hours and hours and hours and hours. Um, and then I'm going to need to run the SATA power around the back. I believe. So I'll have to take the back panel off and get this on over there. Okay. Um, and then uh, this sucker. This is my. Is that going to focus? Probably not. Hello. Anyways, this is the USB connection. Um, I think that goes down here. Let me see. That yeah, goes like this. Dead pin. Okay. There we go. There we go. So that's in, and then the uh, pump and everything. I think there is a uh, header here that says water cooler and stuff, or AIO or something. AIO pump. There we go. It's back here. So it goes this way. Right next to the end up two here. Can I get it? Oh, there we go. Yes. Is that? Oh. Come on. There we go. This stupid shroud is kind of in the way of all these connections. Um. Okay. And I'll do power uh, later. Okay. So this sucker goes on down here and I guess uh, I'll take off the shroud here <sighs> yeah, okay 
And then this sucker. Ah, uh, no. I got the power cord. Stuck. Okay, and then this guy just goes on nice and gently. Nice and gentle. I don't remember if it's the inner pins or. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. We're all down. Move this guy over here. Where's my caps? There we go. Okay, now we gotta do these really carefully one at a time. These are the studs, the cap studs. Started. I always go in a cross pattern just like on a vehicle tire. I always feel that that's good to do so you put even pressure all the way around the CPU. I realize this is turning into like ASMR, some kind of ERP or whatever, but holy cow, I'm like sweating like crazy here. <sighs> see the hair on my arm getting moist. There we go. Another cap on. Very good. And the last cap over here. Okay. It's funny that I have to watch the screen in order to actually see what the heck I'm doing here. Okay. Getting close to playing Code Vein again, boys. And girls are getting really close. Alright. Alright. Okay, this is just... Not any kind of recommended technique, but it definitely helps. Okay, and then back over here. One click. I am on extremely low torque. Like, extremely low torque. This is probably less than hand tight. So, it'll be just enough. Actually, it might be like my dad hand tight. Or my brother hand tight, definitely not my hand tight. Okay. And then the shroud. Ooh. Fancy. Alright guys, uh, we're getting close to the end here. So the next thing is, is putting the chassis fan in the right way. If I can get it down here correctly. Um, probably shouldn't have picked this one to go here uh, for exactly that reason um, oops <laughs> okay let's see if we can try it again here and get it right yeah I probably shouldn't be using that one I should probably be using this one right here um, Chassis fan 2, the little barb is at the back here, which is F, which is this one, so it's going to be closest to me. Okay. Oh, man. This has been a quite a cleaning and new, new setup here, even though it's not really a new setup. It's all the same stuff as before. It's just uh, repositioning everything. Chassis fan in. Good. Now comes the extremely custom 
janky hokey part of this whole thing. Well, that's cool with the flashlight on there, or, or the, the light or whatever. You can see that they're kind of like a clear plastic. That's neat. Is that I need to take the radiator and put it onto the panel here. Let me see. Can I move this thing? Oh, earthquake. So I need to put put the screws through the case into the radiator. So very not recommended, but we'll get it done. I need both hands and all concentration. Oh my goodness, guys, okay. We got it. Okay, we got it. Putting the final, final hand screws. Oh, where's the other long one? When in doubt, just keep drilling it. All right. I think I'm missing one, one other small hand screw for the uh, back side here. Earlier, but I don't now. So I'll have to check on that here. I don't know why that one's not going in. Okay. Let's see. Against the fan, it must be up against the fan. Okay, that's no problem. I'll just put this one in here. I think. Tight. Okay. <sighs> Let's see if she lives. So, next one, uh, next set will be to. Uh, install windows so let's see if it works okie dokie boys she's back in the bay let's see oh my it turns on <laughs> it turns on and the screen does anything happen you can see the dust flying around It posts, maybe. Oh my goodness. It posts. CPU fan error. It posts. Okay, we got some setup to do and we'll get on it. Alright guys, well she doesn't post unless I have the two fans from the radiator going into the motherboard for CPU fan and optional. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing and uh, we'll get it posting here again. Okay, we got the CPU fans hooked up, and let's see what she does now. Where's that power button? There we go. Well, that's good news, mostly. And does she post? Gotta get ready on the delete key here. Okay, so she posts. Oh, and we didn't get the CPU error, uh, CPU fan error. Okay, cool. They're they're running. Say hi, Lucas. Um, okay, cool. Let's look at advanced mode. Uh, AI tweaker. XMP2 is running. That's good. Uh, looks like we're gonna turbo max frequency here is gonna be 5.2 gigahertz. That's good. I'll take it. 
Um, okay. And let's look at the boot. Come on, there we go. Um, and the, hello. Okay, and let's see. Okay, so, good. Let's disable that. And let's go ahead and exit. And save. Not made any changes, that's fine. And let's see here. Oh, that's really blurry. Hello, there we go. So will it uh, run the Windows disk? That'd be incredible if it does. Oh, there we go. Hello, press any key. I press the inner key, press lots of keys. Oh my goodness. Okay, Windows is supposedly going. Okay, so we'll be installing Windows and then we'll be into the operating system and then we'll uh, see how she goes from here. All right, let's see just how fast uh, some of these, some of this uh, actually installs here. And now's my least favorite part of the setup of playing with computers is the cleanup. So I got wrenches, I got this, I got all kinds of fans. There's the water that uh, needs to be changed out. There's all the tools and everything. Trash cans and the old hardware and stuff. All that I gotta put it away. So let's see here if, if this actually uh, runs through. The slowest thing now will be the uh, DVD drive actually installing Windows. You know, I remember when DVDs were Oh man, were they hot! DVDs were hot! Doesn't look like it's going very fast at all. So I'll check in in a little bit. Okay guys, a little update here. Uh, it's actually installing. Um, we had a couple of blue screens, so I installed uh, the chipset drivers and the PCI Express Lane drivers uh, before pushing the install Windows button. And so now it's actually uh, installing, so... Uh, she's running, and uh, we, oops, we got the Asus uh, oops, the driver disc here for the motherboard. Oops, I'm pushing all kinds of buttons. I'm like super tired and nervous, but uh, she's actually running and uh, she's still installing. So uh, hopefully, as fast as this goes, uh, we'll see. It's only going as fast as the DVD can read at the moment, which SATA six, and but I think it's a SATA three. Uh, drive might be a SATA 6 drive, so it's not very fast. It's like USB 2 basically, so it's like 20 or 30 megabytes a second, I think, is what that runs. Um, but yeah, at least uh, at least it's installing, so we're on our way. And what do you do when you wait for Windows to install? Wee! Wee! You know what else you do during waiting for Windows to install? You play some Genshin Impact. Yay! Windows is getting ready. So we're just a little bit away from starting installs and getting everything else going. So the build is uh, finishing up and it's been a lot of fun. So hopefully uh, this was enjoyable to kind of see it stitched together. Uh, this will be kind of a, this was a long, 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 long day. Let's see, I started this morning, uh, cleaning, oh, I don't even know what it was, around 8 or something like that, ridiculous early morning, and, uh, and, uh, just kept going all day, so we'll see, uh, what happens. Black screen is not really what I was hoping for, but... Uh, we'll see where it goes from here and into Windows and is it restarting? It must be restarting. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe we'll get a, a clean look at the boot here. That's odd that it says overclock 36%. Sometimes it's 44%, sometimes it's other percentages, so I wonder if it's dynamically choosing an overclock every time I restart the machine. Hey, look at that, Windows. Okay, well that's at least... That's at least a good thing. So yeah, we'll, we'll see where we go from here. Okay, now the long, arduous process 
of driver installations. Dun dun dun. All right, guys, uh, let's check it out here and see if Code Vein actually runs. Got everything set up. Got everything installed. Well, most everything installed. Do you like my lamp? Um, and uh, we're getting it. We're getting it moving here. So uh, everything's running. I've got all the diagnostics checking, uh, making sure that everything's running correctly and how I think it should be running and stuff. So uh, hopefully, hopefully Code Vein actually pops up here and works and goes. But uh, we'll have to see if it actually if it actually uh, comes up here. Uh, what's this? Uh, okay, yeah, put my, allow access on that. Sure. All right. So now, maybe, what is this, 12 hours later? <laughs> I don't know, it's been a long, long day, oh my goodness, look at the splash, oh yes, okay, and now, um, are we going to be able to see our old saves, English, yes, uh, sure, I agree. Decline the game analytics. North America. Oh boy. Um, oh, I have. I forgot that I was setting this up again for the first time. Only the image on the left is visible. Okay, that's that's pretty good. I guess that's. Maybe too dark. We'll go up to 30. Yeah. Okay. Uh, confirm that. Okay, great. Wow, it's like all the things again. Wow. All the things. Oh my goodness. All. Whoops. Um. Oh. The stars are not kept. <sighs> I knew it. Okay, um. Let's quit, and I guess we'll have to figure out uh, if I can get a um, if I can get the files pushed over. So, stars are gone. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out if I can get those back. Oh man! But at least I at least we know we were on 40 star last time. So we'll we'll see if we can get it going again. So, hopefully uh, soon the stars will start up again, the road to 100 will start again, the speed run, speed kills will start again, everything will start again, and uh, we'll get it going. So I hope you guys enjoyed, at least it, at least it runs, uh, so that's great, and we'll, uh, we'll be setting it up and getting everything going, and uh, we'll be on the road to 100 before you know it. So thank you all for sticking with me while we went through all this, and uh, you know, uh, uh, it just was quite a uh, ordeal here to get this thing up and running, but uh, everything's a little bit snappier and quicker, so that uh, code vein loaded very, very, very fast compared to what we had in the past, so this will be nice. Thanks all, and we'll see you on the road.